Hello, my name is Tom, and this is a little series about a low carbon lifestyle. Sometimes this whole sustainable living can feel well, well intimidating, whether it's thinking you need to buy an electric car or install solar panels on your roof. The majority of us can't do that overnight. We can't do that straight away. Or it looks like completely changing the way you live, living off the land or turning vegan overnight, both of which are fantastic things. But for this mini series, we're gonna talk through how each of us can lower our emissions in everyday life and what that might look like. Okay, episode one of Low Carbon Lifestyle coming at you from um, week two of the uh, COVID-19 quarantine. Isn't this a mad world we live in now? Um, we've got to uh, get out of this in a place where we can um, respond to the climate crisis as well. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that and ask you some questions. Episode one of Low Carbon Lifestyle starts with a little question. How much CO2 do you emit? How do you work it out? Can you give me an idea? Is it 10 kilograms? Is it 10 tons? Is it 200 tons each year? How would you do it? And if you knew how much you did, could you set a target for reduction? If we need to reduce emissions each year, year on year, by 5 or 10% around, around the world, um, what can your target be? With all this climate stuff, we can often get a bit overwhelmed by all the new stuff happening. There's new articles we read every day, there's breakthroughs we see all around the world, there's also disasters we read about all around the world. Um, and we can all think that someone else or some technology somewhere will save the day and it'll all be all right. It's kind of half true, you know? There are big advances being made every day that we have very little involvement in. The electricity grid in the UK and around the world is getting cleaner. Cars are getting more efficient. Even the gas that we burn in our boilers and our stoves might one day get cleaner. But in my opinion, like that won't be enough to meet the reductions we need. So I need you to start counting and to start setting a target. So how would you count? How would you go about doing this? There are loads of calculators out there some of which I'll link below this video. And that'll give you a little idea of where, of where we're up to. I've even done a little spreadsheet to work out my household, my family's emissions, um, and I'll link a simplified version of that below. Um, I've been counting my emissions for about uh, the last nine months, since June last year. Um, and on average, and this includes a transatlantic flight to a family holiday, family holiday, family wedding in Florida, which was amazing. Um, but my average emissions across the last nine months or so have been about 650 kilograms of CO2 per month. And that's for gas, for electric, for travel, for mobile phone data. Um, it doesn't include the things I consume, all that food I eat and eat a lot of food, the clothes I buy, um, the stationery I use, all that kind of stuff. It's just gas, electric, travel. Without the flights, my average, uh, and that's flights across to Florida, uh, a little hop to Cuba. We had a great time. Without my flights, it would be around 450 kilograms per month, which is pretty extraordinary. Um, a rough estimate for how much we'll need to live off by 2050 is less than one ton uh, for, for a year. I, I do that in a couple of months at the moment. I've got significant reductions to make. And one of the things about reducing now is it's like compound interest. It's so much more valuable in 30 years time than it would be reducing in 30 years time. So everything we can do now is great. If all that is a bit much to get your head around, remember this simple rule of thumb. For every unit, every kilowatt hour of electricity you use and every kilowatt hour of gas you burn and every mile you drive you more or less emit 250 grams of co2 it's simple it varies a little bit depending on your car and how big your car is if you drive a range rover quit scrap it get rid of it get a simpler car get a smaller car straight away if you're driving a little car it might be a little bit less if you drive an electric vehicle it might be 10 90 percent less but that rule of thumb every kilowatt hour of electricity you use, every kilowatt hour of gas you burn, and every mile you drive 
is around 250 grams of CO2. So can you count? Can you look at your bills? Can you look at your mileage and come up with a figure? If you can, you've got a baseline. And from that baseline, we can set a target. And if that global target is 5% reduction a year, then maybe I'll set myself a 10% reduction year on year. What could you do? So if I use 10% less electricity this year, we'd save 20 kilograms of CO2. That's, that's brilliant, that's great. I don't really know what that means, but that's great. If I drive a thousand miles less a year, and I guess that's more or less 10, 10% of our mileage, then we'd save 200 kilograms of CO2. Mini corrections corner, that should say 250 kilograms, shouldn't it? If I reduce my gas bill by 10%, we would save 300 kilograms of CO2. In the future on low carbon living, we're gonna talk a little bit about how we could do a lot of those things. Um, but yeah, saving 10% on electricity, saving 10% on the miles I drive and saving 10% on my gas bill um, will, would save a significant amount of, of my emissions, but also it would save a whole load of money. So my question and my challenge for you today is how much do you emit? Don't try and overcomplicate it. Don't try and count every last little nook and cranny of where you've put CO2 emissions over this last year. Start with the big things, make a count, and then set a target. What is your target for 2020? You see, when we start counting, we start to see the impact of our decisions. We can begin to set targets and we can slowly begin to start living a lower carbon lifestyle. Amazing, that's episode one. I hope you've enjoyed that. Episode two, we'll talk a little bit about how you can reduce emissions of your electricity. Uh, later on in the week, we're gonna go and drive, hopefully drive an electric vehicle for the first time, which is so exciting. Um, and we're gonna give some tips about how to live a more low carbon lifestyle. Thank you and see you soon. Like and subscribe.